Welcome back to my channel guys. So good to have you here. Today we are actually going to be discussing everything to do with fabrics and all things to consider when you are choosing your fabrics for your house. There's a few things to consider. One being where are you putting this piece of furniture? Where is it being used for and how much of a high traffic area is it? The other thing to consider is who's going to be using these pieces? Is it kids and should it be child friendly or should it be pet friendly because you're going to have little fluffy animals running all over them or is it going to be more of an entertaining area and you don't have to worry about really anything and anything can go and the other thing to consider is how is this item going to be used and lastly it's all about the style of the fabric and what you're trying to accomplish with this piece fun thing i went to renato today and he actually most of you know he is my custom furniture maker i've been there many 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 times and i love going to his shop because every time i go i get inspired by new things that have come up and i decided to explore the world of fabrics item on our list is our poodle fabric. I love this fabric because it's so durable. It's so versatile. You can really use it in, in any space. The only thing that you have to really consider is do you want to go light or do you want to go dark with something like this? We've kind of done it in all of the different colors it comes in and it's worked so well and our clients have been so happy with it. So this is definitely a fabric that I would consider. If you're doing it in a high traffic area and you do have kids, consider getting it pre treated or getting it treated afterwards but this is definitely a winner in style aesthetics design durability comfort level to the max this is the most comfortable fabric you will ever find love it guys i feel like i'm at home when i sit on this fabric on this sofa because i have so many of these and i love to use them and my clients love them it totally feels like home no wonder this is one of my favorites because this fabric is 100 percent polyester it's 100 percent durable i mean not 100 percent obviously but it's very durable we take these sofas from project to project in and out of moving other than scuff marks which is probably our fault nothing happens to it it doesn't start to to welt it doesn't start to look any different than it did from day one you can sit on it and i'm sure people sit on our fabrics and our sofas on a daily basis at these projects and nothing happens to it and the best part of it is they come pre-treated so this is definitely top on my list if you're choosing fabric to go with the cocoon fabric this is amazing find out from your local supplier if they carry this because it goes a long way you can use this on headboards you can use it on sofas accents chairs dining chairs even although if you do have kids I would go with a darker color because the lighter color obviously spills some wine apple juice orange juice whatever then you know you probably won't be getting that out anytime soon but the best part is again I mentioned they come pretty pre-treated so you don't really have to worry about the mess um, there's also the other option of having someone from outside come and treat it for you and this way you have a nice warranty on your sofa as well I just want to put it out there that there are many different manufacturers carrying this type of fabric and they're all called something different with each manufacturer so if you do like this you can check out JF Fabrics you can check out Studio Tex and it's their alpaca collection the chenille again if you have a custom fabric maker that does do custom upholstery you can definitely let them know about this it's called the cocoon or poodle fabric again every manufacturer has a different name for it all right, next on my list is any kind of vinyl fabric. So vinyl has been used for many, many, many years in a lot of commercial spaces, but I'm now seeing it more in residential. I have been using vinyl for a very long time for my clients, especially in high traffic areas like an ottoman like this teenagers and you know adults will put their feet up on the coffee table some people do yes this is perfect because it's still comfortable it's cushiony it's not a wooden surface or a glass surface so it's dangerous in any shape or form the only thing with the vinyl upholstered coffee table ottomans is that you need to put a tray or something on the ottoman so that you can place your drinks you can place your accessories on it and it's more safe and stable and the 
cool thing about doing an ottoman in vinyl is that you can really shape it any way you want. So this ottoman in particular was designed to have these panels going through it, which is fantastic. It gives it a lot of character versus doing something of a flatter surface. So on the side here, I also see a lot of tufting. So really you can do anything you want with this ottoman, personalize it to your own taste, to the characteristics of your room. If you wanna add studs to it, no, you wanna go nice and clean looking, well, I got another one for you. Ottoman number two. This is the same kind of concept in a vinyl, dark gray. This one has studs at the bottom and it's much larger for a much bigger room. We actually have this piece as part of our inventory, which I love to use because it's so versatile in the bigger homes. Just consider your space as well. I know pieces tend to look lovely, but you gotta consider your space. One of the things that I love love about using vinyl fabrics is the fact that you just have to wipe and go. You don't need to really pre-treat it. You don't need to fuss or worry about things getting on it or spills happening on it because all it takes is a damp cloth, some water, and you're good to go. You don't even use chemicals on it because it will wear out your fabric. It's going to make it look more dull over time. So definitely stay away from using products if you're using something like this. And I also want to show it to you in a couple accent chairs. So even for accent pieces, you can choose little ottomans like these and kind of place them around your room. What I love about them is that they're modular and you can move them around, but having them in a vinyl finish or a leather finish really does the trick because then you can use them for any purpose. These can be used as accent chairs or they can be used as accent tables and you can be placing drinks on them, obviously with a tray on top. They are mess free, danger free of getting really any kind of damage on them unless someone goes at them with a knife or something. Other than that, you're good to go. This book has a world of its own with different opportunities and different textures and finishes that you can explore with this. So this is my all-time go-to company for my vinyl finishes and this is JF Fabrics. They have a very wide variety of fabrics that you can choose from but this is my favorite when it comes to vinyls. I've actually done decorative pillows in this one. As you can see, it has a nice shine to it. Kind of like a bronzy, silvery finish. Then they have these vinyls, which almost look like leather, and you can totally use them on bar stools, in the kitchen, kitchen chairs, dining chairs, accent chairs, cute benches, headboards. Really go crazy with it. What I like to do is if I'm doing an ottoman, I like to use a vinyl finish because fabric can be too soft. Vinyl will be a much tighter surface if you want to put a tray or anything else on top and it's much easier to clean. So definitely consider doing vinyl. I've actually even done it in a banquette. We did a bank custom banquette for a client of ours and all of the cushioning on the banquette was done in a vinyl, which was a fantastic idea because it will never go out of style and it's always going to be clean. So nothing much to worry about. And if you're looking for an alternative to vinyl, consider doing real leather. Real leather is actually a great option as well. I just think vinyl is more cost effective, easier to clean, but real leather is also a great option if you're looking for easy to clean and just having it look absolutely gorgeous and lovely in your space. So real leather is also another alternative. Another favorite fabric selection of mine is to do ultra suede. And my love for ultra suede came about many, many years ago when I first started in the staging industry and I was using these sofas that were in ultra suede and I always thought oh my god these over time look so good and they keep up their look. The reason for that is they're very very durable and really kid and pet friendly I find because anything that gets on them you can really just brush it off and it will look brand new again, unless you're going with the lighter colors. So if you do have kids or you do have pets in the house, consider going with a darker color because it will cover up more of the damages or any kind of stain that happens on them. They're more user-friendly, I would say. And the fact that they feel so good, it, they're so lush and comfortable and warm. If you're in cooler climates, consider doing something that is a little bit more plush, like an ultra suede or a 
velvet or even a polyester because they do keep their warmth. They keep their shape really well too. So it's not a fabric that will lose its look over time. It will definitely stay looking fabulous for many, many years to come. If you decide to go with an ultra suede fabric, again, any fabric you really choose, consider doing something that has protection on it, that has been pre-treated. And if it hasn't been pre-treated, have a company come and treat it for you and you will have peace of mind for years to come. So if you want to be a little bit different and you want to do a create a piece of your own and really do something custom, you can consider doing a two tone fabric. So two different fabrics put together to create a beautiful piece like this works really well because here you have a nice aged leather on the inside and then voila, you have a beautiful ultra suede material with this beautiful diamond detail kind of surrounding and hugging your chair and they've obviously done the studs here which you don't have to do but I like the fact that they've mixed up the ultra suede material with the leather material on the inside it not only adds a lot of character to it but a lot of comfort I feel too because I feel like this chair all in leather would just be a little bit too cold looking but something like this just really warms it up makes it look more custom and luxurious so if you're doing a custom piece for your space consider doing a two piece like this something on the outside and another something totally different material on the inside and if you're looking for an alternative to ultra suede a really really high performance fabric is something like this in Durapal. this is phenomenal material right here i have used this brand on so many different items for my clients from headboards to sofas to accent chairs to dining chairs and i have to say i've never had a problem with any of them the only thing i have gotten back is positive feedback because this material is pre-treated so you don't have to worry about treating the fabric in order to keep it nice and clean you can buy this and it's already pre-treated and it comes in so many different textures and styles i love this this is fantastic because there's so much to explore in this one book and another example to another high performance fabric is ultra suede material. So there's this one material that I cannot stand and I would turn away from any opportunity that I get. I would choose any other fabric but linen. And I might have a lot of people disagreeing with me, but I have to tell you, I don't even have a book to show you because linen is not my thing. Now I'm gonna give you a tip that might save you a lot of money, guys, because I have been in this industry for a very long time. I've come across a lot of different fabrics and I kind of know what works and what doesn't because our pieces get moved around so much from property to property I see what happens to the materials and the fabrics one thing I'm going to tell you guys not to choose when you're choosing fabrics for your upholstered pieces like your main pieces like a sofa accent chair dining chairs stay away from linen because linen actually does not hold up really well it looks nice it looks airy and it only lasts as long as you can take care of it and you do not have any marks or stains or spills on it because once you do get them on there good luck getting it out linen looks pretty in stores or in someone's house that you might see and think oh that's a beautiful linen sofa coming from experience i've had my sofas have even just light scuff marks on them and the ones that are linen do not come out. I've had professional cleaner come in, shampoo it up, really, really get in there nice and deep. And when it's wet, it looks like it's kind of going away. But then when it dries, it's like, oh no, it didn't go anywhere. And it's still there, maybe even more visible. It's such a delicate fabric, not as delicate as silk, obviously, but cleaning linen is not easy unless you take it somewhere and have it dry cleaned. And I'm to tell you another story i had these linen dining chairs with slips on them so the slip was linen i took these slips to the dry cleaners every month and a half or two months i would say and i have to tell you something one it costs a lot of money to get it cleaned and two it will never look the same again if you can stay away from linen materials unless it's a throw of some sort or a decorative pillow you do not want them on your main pieces because try putting them on your dining chairs around your dining table and you're entertaining and there's spills gone you cannot get that cleaned having it on your sofa and you know there's even small scuff marks that come on it gone it's going to be very difficult to clean it so my tip to you is go towards anything but linen i feel like linen is a much lighter fabric that can be used on drapery or 
curtains or a dress to wear by the ocean side, but not on my sofas, not on my dining chairs or kitchen chairs or accent chairs, maybe on some decorative pillows. Linen is definitely bottom of my list. I do not approve of linen. Now you know some of the things to look out for when you're choosing fabric for your furniture. High priority things to look out for are the durability. What area are you using it for? Should it be light color or dark color? Is it being used in a high traffic area or not? Does it need to be treated or not? Can I do patterns? And what area should I do patterns in? Now you know all of the little things to look out for. Go off and explore because the world of fabrics is a fun place to be. You can be so creative with it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and send me a comment, guys. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video.